Um, TRACE stands for Teens Reimagining Art, Community, and Environment. Outside of TRACE, I am an educator. I actually got my degree in English education. And I think TRACE really being in the program for so long is what sort of made me want to go into education. Um, it's not necessarily arts education, but um, I do enjoy being around young people and getting to see them in this capacity during the summer makes me even more excited to work with them during the school year. Um, during the six weeks, I really just want to make sure that the tracers are able to be leaders within their community um, and definitely being able to take something away from the summer that even if they don't go into a field of art or um, environmental activism, that they can still make a change in their neighborhoods and in their lives. Uh, welcome to Sweetwater Foundation Perry Avenue Farm. Uh, my name is Christian. I'm one of the youth apprenticeship that works here at Sweetwater. Uh, certain tasks that we have yeah. here at Sweetwater, as you can see, we're cultivating the land, taking care of it, producing harvests such as collard greens, kale, Swiss chard, and the, the list goes on. Going that way. Uh, as you, as you guys know, this site used to be an alternative school. It used to be known as the Mosby School. It used to be an alternative school for bad boys. So if, if you were in Chicago and you were kick, got kicked out of a public school, you were sent to this land, to this school. And um, it actually got, after it got shut down, it, it turned to a, a shelter for the homeless. That didn't work out. So in 2010, it got demolished. 2012, that's when Emmanuel came out and took over the land. He, uh, he started um, cultivating the land, turning into a farm. And so along the line, I think like six years now, we've been here. And I came from an alternative school as well as a Mosby school. I went to a CYDI, Alternative uh, Community Youth uh, Community Youth Development Institute. We got two others from there too. Yeah, right here, Mike and Maurice, they uh, fellow classmates of mine. I graduated this year, they graduated last year. Yep. And, and then, um, so we, we all been here a part of Sweetwater ever since, can't get enough. So uh, obviously we, the site is higher up, it's three feet up off the ground. So we got red clay cap, we got soil, we got compost, we got wood chips. Ooh. Trust me about them beetles. They really won't, I know it's a, it's a mental <laughs> thing. Like they're not gonna do nothing to you. We out here every day. They will bump into you. They will bump into you, but they'll, they're here. <laughs> but look, the, the, the thing that's important to you know is that we have 210 rows. We have over 200,000 plus vegetables on this space, on this one block, two acre block. What kind of activities y'all have to do? Some that you like, some you hate. Weed. Weed. Weeding. <laughs> right? What else? Wood chips. Wood chips. We got to put the wood chips down. The wood chips keep the moisture in the site. What else? Transplanting. Water, Water and transplanting. What do we do on Fridays? Market. 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 We got the market. So with that, they go. Ah, last thing. Last thing. What do we? What products do we have out here? Collard greens, Swiss vegetables, chard, kale, vegetables and greens. So collards, kale, chard. They were asking about tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, yeah. peppers, uh, strawberries, broccoli, onions, watermelon, peppers. Uh, Y'all like, we have a 40 pound watermelon that come off this farm. They in the back over there. So with that, y'all can start. Don't, they, 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 they can't take it. We'll bring some over there. He said it too. Stand up. Say first it. Time I was here, bro, I cannot take this. Say it. They can't oh, hear you. I couldn't take this at all. Like this, is like my second week here, and you know. See, I know. Yeah, <laughs> but here. <laughs> all right. I had to be used to it. We're gonna take them over to the to wood the shop. yeah the park wood shop house. Oh, shit. And then I'll come back out. All right, tell me how you like my chairs. Y'all see them over there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Besides just the hands-on skills, 
is learning how to be a team player. Nobody does anything alone. That's one of the best aspects, actually, of this situation, is learning to work with each other, to give and take the exchange of ideas, blah, blah, blah. funding to do that for my school, but I can any questions, interesting stuff, but yeah, we can go. What's this for? That What's is like a stage for events or oh, you said yeah, What's your major? <laughs> Environmental and sustainability science and then a business minor. Okay. Also community food systems minor. <laughs> what school are you guys from? Uh, oh, I was going to do the seventh and eighth grade program and then I left to go to another school with my sister. You said earlier that you uh, wanted to open up your own grocery store. How, how has it been? Um, the progress on that? I guess now I'm just learning a lot because I think a lot of people jump into like problems thinking that they know everything and they know what people need. And so I've been kind of like working on an urban farm and seeing if it's possible to source all of your food from Chicago. And I'm learning it's so much more complicated than you can grow food on a plot and sell it. Um, and also just talking to other people operating in that space and saying, what's your supply chain? What's your model? Um, and I have a long ways to go, but it's very fun to think about how to address this issue of like, why is it easier to go to McDonald's and go to a grocery store? Why is it cheaper? And, yeah. well, what would you name the grocery store? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's a great question. You can help me. <laughs> Are you uh, been in practice here just this summer, or is it like this is my first summer interning? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm a college she was like here for like years. Oh no! <laughs> she told me all that. Oh no. no. <laughs> She's pretty awesome. So the interesting thing about this is Sweetwater Foundation does a lot with like repurposing waste or things that would be considered waste. And so this shipping container, I believe, came from Argentina, made its way across the world because it's a shipping container. I used to carry grape concentrate, and now it's here on the south side of Chicago. And it's operating as the Think Do Pod. So the idea is for this entire part to be like a learning space for young people. We want to get like a monitor that's equipped with like energy, water usage upstairs, incorporate technology. Because technology is like huge in this day and age into this space. And so there are benches, there'll be tables for young people to kind of like think of ideas. And then upstairs you can like, I'll explain it that you can walk up if you want to see, is a greenhouse. I'm no. perfect. There you go, yeah, greenhouse. Um, you can like raise seedlings. Um, they're gonna get a hydroponic system. I don't think there will be fish up there. Um, and also connecting this think space with like doing above. And it was inspired by something seen in Belgium. And I think it's like the only existing shipping container with a greenhouse on top mm -hmm. in like Chicago or the Midwest. I would say the U.S., but we don't know yet. But yeah, you can walk upstairs and it's a little hot. I don't want to sweat out my hair. <laughs> but it's really cool. I would suggest seeing it. Hey, Gia, are they going to go in the back door? Are they going straight in back door? Wash hands and then back, yeah, back door. All right, wash hands. Dry hands, back door, get your food. How you doing? How you doing? Okay. How you doing? What's your name? Ivan. Nice to meet you, Ivan. 
I'm with that. If someone don't eat meat and grains, I have greens with no meat. Thank you. The forks is on the table and the cup. If y'all want to do something, you tell us what you want to do. Our jobs is to figure it out. So if you want Hello, to come everybody. to be with us, Hello. Coco! Hey, everybody. Do it from the voice. Coco! Yes, ma'am. Come here. Yes. Come here. You see the group? Yeah. How's everybody? Yeah. Y'all looking good. Where they from? <laughs> yeah, I'm the hood lady. <laughs> I like hugs from everybody. Tell them, what, tell them why you're here, what you do. Okay, well, you, real quick. two years ago, I was riding by, and this is my neighborhood. And I seen that they had a farm over there, and I'm like, well, hell, I like the farm. I want to get some of them greens. I want to get some of them tomatoes. And I live in a senior building. So, he told me I'm welcome to the greens and stuff. So, I started picking the greens, tomatoes, and everything, and taking them back to the building where I live in. It's a two-built, four-complex, real big. It's on 55th Street. And they're not able to come out and get it. How many people? It's a lot now, but it was probably like five or 10 when I first started. But now it's a whole lot of people where I work at. And even from out of town, my girls, I got daughters from out of town, they come up here, get the greens that I put in the freezer and everything. But it's just a joy for me to come out and just pick the greens up and give them to somebody. It's like me feeding it somebody else who can't come and get it. And I love him because he's putting it out here. I love all the people that work out here because they actually working in the, in the dirt, putting the stuff in there. In the heat. And it's a joy, it's a joy. And it's God's land. And everything that come up, baby good, baby good. Come out fresh, you can't get nothing no fresher than coming out that ground. The store, nah. And then it ain't that dirty either. So when you pick them from out there and you eat them, oh, it's a whole different taste. It's good, it's good. And then it makes your body feel good too, you fresh. So I hope y'all enjoy it. And then we connect, and then we connect. And yeah, we connect, see? Yeah. He always want a hug, everybody always want a hug. Want a hug. That's what you do. Take it and pass it around. Pass it around. Just pass it around. You want a hug? Give me a hug. Hug. Yeah, come here, Daddy. Let's give a hug everywhere. She was going, yeah. She will hug every single person. It's contagion. Pass a hug around. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with you? Pass it around. I'm not just good I'm gonna tell you, it's fun out here. Whenever y'all see me, say, hey, Coco, no, they I'm gonna give they, you a hug. Brand new. Come on, let's get it in there. Oh, and then them big ones like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They might put something back in order. I don't come to all y'all. Yes, baby. I actually got y'all over there because I'm trying to get it all. I want to chip. I got me a hug. Come on, baby. Did I get you? Okay, come on. I didn't unless you go there. Oh, you want to know? No, you ain't getting in here. This one. That's the one. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one.